Hi, this is Jeff from Bayesian Theorem QED.com. This lesson is going to be uh, evaluating a five node Bayesian belief network. And um, I'm going to represent it uh, one of two ways. First way. It's going to be the conventional way. So we've got node A, we got node B, we got node C, we got node D, and we got node E. And A and B is going to be independent of C. And D and E is going to be independent. And their parents are going to be C. So A and B are independent. They're dependent on, on, on C. D and E are independent. They're de dependent on C. Another way Venn diagram was C. I kind of like this way better. A, B, C, D. All right, what we're looking for is probability of A given C. Okay, so we're going to start down here and uh, Start with this portion here. So the probability of A, C, D equals probability of A given C, D times probability of C given D times the probability D. This equals probability A given C because A does not matter. A has no effect. So probability A given C D equals the probability of A given C times the probability of C given D times the probability of D. Then we have probability of D C A D C A going this way equals probability of D given C A times probability of C given A times probability of A this equals the only thing that really matters is this relationship here. Do it a different color. C and D. So this equals the probability of D given C times the probability C given A times the probability of A. Okay, so what we got here here probability of A given C times the probability of C given D times the probability of D from here is equal to probability of D given C probability of C given A times the probability of A. So from here we go probability of A given C equals probability of D given C probability C given A times probability of 
a divided by probability c given d times probability of d equals probability of d given c times probability of c given a times or probability of A. And what we're going to do, we're going to collapse this because what we're going to try to do is uh, delete the D given C. So we'll go probability of uh, CD and that's uh, going to flip that around and that's going to be of D C. So now this is really this is not part of this. So probability of D given C, probability of C given A, probability of A, probability. I will use a chain rule here, so D given C probability of C. All right. So now these can go out and we have probability of C given A times probability of A divided by probability of C. All right. So we can go back up here. probability C given A, probability of A, what about probability of C? Okay, and this is uh, part one. Uh, and what I'll do in part two, I actually do a numerical solution. Thank you.